is up, everybody? I just watched a video from Rhett Scholl where he was kind of replying to a Paul Davids video about dream guitar rates. If you could pick one amp, three pedals, and one guitar, what would those be? Now that kind of took me back to the first time I played down in Nashville this past year where I had that exact setup. I had one amp, three pedals, and one guitar. Now, not necessarily a dream rig for me per se, but um, a little bit in a way, and then most of the rest of it was built out of necessity. Now a little bit of backstory, before I moved to Nashville, I sold a bunch of gear and consolidated a bunch of stuff and basically only took what I needed and had an opportunity to buy a Vox AC30, which has been a dream of mine for a while. So I picked that up. Um, can't beat the clean tone. It breaks up great, it takes pedals great, and I've always looked up to some of the players that have always played them. And so I threw that in the car with a bunch of other gear and went down to Nashville. Now, when I got to Nashville, I did get a call for a gig pretty last minute. Uh, I had 30 minutes from the phone call till I needed to be downtown set up and ready to play. And I lived 15 minutes from there. So what I did was threw the amp in the car, picked a couple pedals out of the box I had sitting on the side, uh, threw them in my guitar case, and I headed downtown. Now, that's a little bit crazy, but um, that's just kind of how it works down there. And so what I picked out of the box to take with me were what I deemed essential pedals. Um, I had a tuner, and I ran that into a Earthquaker Westwood Overdrive, which is a pretty standard mm -hmm. overdrive. They can get some broken up tones and all the way up to really heavy rock tones, which was absolutely perfect through the box. And then I ran that into a Tech 21 Boost DLA, which is almost two pedals in one. Uh, you get the tap tempo delay, which is absolutely amazing and kind of a lifesaver to have that tap tempo. But it also has the boost built in, so you can get up to nine decibels of boost, which is really more than I would personally ever need but it's great to have it and I love being able to crank that up just a little bit and make the solo stick out a little bit more and the delay just smooths them out and it sounds incredible. Now I didn't think to bring a camera with me because I was so rushed at the time to play that gig so I wanted to take and basically make a track and show you the versatility of this and show you why this is partially a dream rig and partially a rig built out of necessity. You really can't go wrong with the setup here and it's super simple and I absolutely love it. So that's why it's partially my dream rig. So here, check out the sample here. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you have a dream rig or any kind of crazy story like mine, just let me know down in the comment section below.